Hi everyone, welcome back to Dash of Annie. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate the pizza margarita from Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the game, you only need flour and tomatoes to make this pizza. To recreate this dish in real life, you're going to need a bit more than just two ingredients. Let's start with making the pizza sauce. For the sauce, you'll need tomato, shallot, garlic, olive oil, and tomato paste. Instead of cooking my sauce in a saucepan, I decided to bake the vegetables in this adorable cheese dish. Grab your tomato, remove the top, and slice it into quarters. Slice the bottom of your shallot, cut it in half, and peel off the skin. Grab four cloves of garlic, cut off the bottoms, and peel off the skins. I wanted my sauce to be very garlicky, so feel free to add less garlic if you'd like. Drizzle your vegetables with about a tablespoon of olive oil and add a dash of salt and pepper. Cover your dish and bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Once your veggies are nice and soft, you can add them to a blender cup. This will make enough sauce for about two pizzas. Don't forget to pour in that nice oil too. Add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Blend everything in a blender until smooth. The sauce looks a bit more orange than traditional pizza sauces, but I promise this sauce tastes so good. For the dough, I used pizza flour, but you can use regular flour. I also used pizza yeast, but you can use regular yeast. I also added garlic powder, olive oil, dried oregano, dried basil, a large tomato, mozzarella, smoked mozzarella, black olives, and fresh basil. Let's start prepping our toppings. Slice up six circles of mozzarella cheese and six circles of smoked mozzarella cheese. To cut them into circles, I used wine and champagne glasses to trace out the shape. Traditional margarita pizzas only use tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and fresh basil. So judging by the pizza in Animal Crossing, I figured that inner circle of cheese was regular mozzarella and the outer circle was more of a yellow cheese. The smoked mozzarella was the best idea I had to replicate that outer circle of cheese and it did not disappoint. It adds a lot of flavor to the pizza, and the smoked cheese comes out crispier after baking. When you cut your cheese into circles, don't worry about them being perfect, since they're going to melt when you bake your pizza anyways. I also ended up cutting the regular mozzarella into smaller circles later because it didn't quite fit on my pizza. Slice one large tomato into half. Slice that tomato half into six equal pieces.
Use some kitchen scissors to cut off five leaves of fresh basil. I couldn't find fresh basil at any grocery store until I found this little plant. I'm hoping to grow a few herbs on our balcony this summer, and this basil plant is going to be the first one in my new herb garden. Now that our toppings are prepped, let's make our pizza dough. Add one cup of pizza flour, one packet of pizza yeast, a dash of salt, and a teaspoon of garlic powder to a medium-sized bowl. This is going to make enough pizza dough for one pizza. Give the dry ingredients a good stir. Add two thirds of a cup of very warm water and three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix everything together until a sticky ball of dough forms. Add a tablespoon of flour to your dough at a time, mix it with your hands, and add more flour until the dough is still a bit sticky but doesn't leave any residue on your hands. Sprinkle flour on a clean surface where you're going to roll out your dough. If you want a thicker crust, roll your dough about a half inch thick. For a thinner crust, roll the dough thinner. When your dough is at your desired size, transfer it to a floured pizza pan. The flour will prevent your dough from sticking to the pan. If your dough isn't in a perfect circle, you can just adjust the edges at this point. Pierce your dough with a fork. This will prevent air bubbles from forming while your pizza bakes in the oven. Spread your pizza sauce over the middle of your dough. Make sure you leave some room for your pizza crust. If you want to add some flavor to your crust, mix a bit of olive oil and a dash of garlic powder in a small bowl. Brush your garlic oil onto the crust of your pizza. This will also help your crust to come out crispier. Now for my favorite part, decorate your pizza with your sliced tomatoes, mozzarella cheeses, and olives. Like I said earlier, I had to cut my mozzarella into smaller circles in order for everything to fit on my pizza. I also had to use five pieces of each topping instead of six or else the pizza would have been too crowded. Sprinkle some dried basil and dried oregano on the top for added flavor. Bake your pizza on the bottom rack of your oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Once your pizza is cooked, Decorate it with your fresh basil leaves.
And now you have the pizza margarita from Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more recipes. Let me know if you have a dish from your favorite video game or from Animal Crossing that you'd like me to make next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.